Hello Glamour Ghouls, welcome back. I am at like a level 17 today. I am sitting in front of the camera for the first time in a month, oops. As you can see, I've got some very cool new stuff going on in my studio space. Um, I, I, I know that I had promised a, a studio reveal like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Unfortunately, it's just not there yet, but here's your Here's your sneak peek. Uh, it's it's going very well. I'm very excited. And uh, it's very cool to have kind of a, a very inspiring space to create in. Number three, it is June, which means it is time. It is Halloween decor hunting season almost. I would say uh, I actually went this morning and checked at home on June 5th because I'm a psychopath. It was literally keeping me up at night. I was like, what if they put it out and I'm not there? But they didn't. <laughs> I went this morning at 9 a.m. Halloween is still not out at my at home, um, but I will keep you posted. But I would say in the next couple of weeks, we'll start seeing Halloween decor at at home and then it just starts rolling from there. It is time, I'm so excited. But today I wanted to take a, a moment to and kind of prepare ourselves for the spooky season. I just wanted to have a little like pre-Halloween decor hunting chat. I saw Jade did like a, a pre-Halloween decor hunting vlog and I, I really enjoyed that. And I thought, you know what? I wanna, I wanna do a little moment where we all come together and just like, prep ourselves for the journey ahead. But the other thing I really wanted to focus on today is that, you know, we get so excited about the big box stores and I do too. Like I love this time of year when all the stuff starts coming out at Michael's and Spirit. Like the first trip to Spirit Halloween every year is a religious experience for me every time. <laughs> but something I've always tried to promote on this channel and something that's very important to me is supporting small businesses and that, you know, there are tons of awesome small creators in our community that are making Halloween happen year round for us. And I don't want them to get lost in the mix as we spend the next several months hunting the big box stores. And so I really wanted to spend today kind of highlighting some creators that are doing like the most year round that I shop with regularly, that I think are creating amazing product. And we are lucky enough to have a very, very exciting giveaway from one of these creators. I am super, super stoked about it. This product was supposed to show up like two weeks ago. And because of the United, United States, States Postal, Postal Service, Service, I got it yesterday. It was actually really funny. She sent me one through USPS and then she sent me one um, like four days ago th or something crazy through FedEx and they arrived on the same day. <laughs> it's been a journey and I've been dying to make this video. I'm so excited. So let's hop right in and focus on some amazing spooky small creators that I love to shop with. When I think Halloween all year, I cannot think of a better representation of that than 12 months of October. I love her shop. Uh, this is a piece I own from her. It's this Glamour Ghoul plaque, which is the perfect thing for me. This is so, so cool. Um, when I saw this design, I knew I had to have it. She makes mostly wall plaques, um, but all different kinds of really, really cool plaques that are spooky and she makes them 12 months a year. She actually has another one I want really bad that has the headless horseman on it because you know he's my boo. Something else I really appreciated about her is that when this arrived, it was in this parcel that was like the most beautiful, like brown paper wrapped, like it felt like somebody sent me a package from another time. And when I opened it up, it smelled like when you walk into Joann's at fall for the first time and you get hit with that like spicy fall leaf scent. You know what I'm talking about. That's what this, pa and this, this plaque still smells like that and I, Oh, it just like, for me, the thing you get with small shops that you don't get with a big box store is the experience. Like you get a level of 
being kind of like fully <laughs> immersed in the experience of shopping for their product. And 12 Months of October is like the perfect example of that. I just love her stuff. I can't wait to shop with her more. This is actually the only thing I currently own from her, um, but it will not be the last. <laughs> Next, we're gonna talk about someone you've heard me mention before, which is Lucky Hellcat. I love her designs. Her artwork just like speaks to me because it's this perfect blend of vintage and spooky. Many of you have seen this print before. It is the big boy Beetlejuice print from Lucky Hellcat. And I love this artwork so much. And Lucky actually does a, a whole slew of things that are not just prints. She does enamel pins, earrings, t-shirts, bags, and actually, I debated whether or not to show this because it is my intention uh, here very soon. We're gonna have another awesome small shop that we're working with. And during that time, I'm going to show you all my spooky bag collection. But I have to show you this one because it is from Lucky Hellcat. <laughs> so this is my I Love Spooky purse. It is so beautiful. I'll show you the details. So it's got like this black glitter vinyl and the bats. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but the little poles are also bats. And this was actually a collab with Lucky Hellcat, and I believe they're called Crafty Creeps, also a cool small shop. Um, and they're actually doing a second iteration of this bag. I think right now the pre-orders are open, I might be wrong, but this is my favorite like everyday carry bag that I own. I have a lot of very like vivid, cool, unique bags that I carry less frequently, but this is like a good everyday go-to bag. And of course, if you don't get the reference, it's the I Love Lucy logo, but I love spooky. So it's literally like a, a blend of my personality on a bag. They also have this in t-shirts and acrylic earrings and stuff if a purse isn't your vibe. Lucky Hellcat, I have shopped with time and time again. I've always had great customer service. She's just really awesome. And I didn't mean to do this, but actually every shop I will be showing you today is female owned, which like, support small business and then definitely support female small business. And then uh, Lucky is actually a Latina woman. So if you can support female women of color owned shops, do that. Okay, so now we're gonna get into our shop that is co-hosting the giveaway for today's video. This is not a sponsored video, um, but I love working with her so, so much. So I'm thrilled. This is the second giveaway we've done together and I hope that we continue to partner because she is amazing. So the next shop on the docket is Sinister Signs. If you remember my Creepmas video, we did a giveaway with Maddie from Sinister Signs there with her uh, Ghoul Gang plaques and that was awesome, but let me tell you what I have for you today is I'm so excited. First, I'm going to show you some of the products that I own from her. So mostly what she does is um, 3D printed goods, home decoration. I have lots of things from Sinister Signs in my studio. I love her stuff. I have this little coffin box that I keep my bobby pins in at my vanity. This was actually kind of what introduced me to Sinister Signs and my first um, product from her are these zombie hands, like jewelry holders. And I really loved these because she does like these fun colors. And as you can see, that's this is my color palette. And sometimes it's hard to find like pastel -y spooky stuff. And so when I saw these, I was like, I have to have them. And I think she actually sent these to me free of charge because she's insane and amazing. Right, let's like take a close up at one. So it's got all these like cracks and crevices and then it's coming out of this little base. So you can like hang a necklace on it or um, use it to display rings or really just about anything you want. I love those. I also, where did those go? Oh, there they are. I actually, this was my latest purchase from her. I haven't even opened them yet because I need to put them, like I'm kind of waiting for everything to be done in the studio before I decide where I want these. But these are just some really cool 3D printed glittery black bats that you can stick on the wall. And there's like a pack of quite a few of them. And I'm just gonna use them to, you know, make like a, a bat flock flying up one of my white walls. But these are super cute and they were really, really affordable. And I know like you can buy paper 
you know, ones for your wall, but I like these cause they're like sturdy, like they're hard and they're not gonna like wear down over time. So I'm excited about those. The next thing that I just bought from her, which came with the giveaway package, she just did a whole line that was like spooky reading based. And she made all these super cool bookmarks. And I have just this year really fallen in love with reading again. And so this is like the perfect thing for me. I'll show you some of my favorites. This one is like a spooky tree graveyard scene so cool and they're like hard like they're you know this is definitely a personal favorite because y'all know how much i love jack-o-lanterns so this one's like just a stack of jack-o-lanterns with different faces and then we've got of course our spooky spider web one this one uh i got it came this was a pack you get all of these for one price and i got this one came um in black and white in this packet another personal favorite is this haunted house it is so detailed look at the little ghost in the window and like the crooked windows i just I love this one so much. It is so cute. And then we've got an ooky spooky one that says horror. It's got blood dripping, so that's pretty cool. So I just got those yesterday and I'm very excited to use them. And I actually have a little bit more to tell you about the bookmarks in a minute, but before we do that, I am going to introduce you to the giveaway product. And this is particularly special to me because Maddie and I actually kind of collaborated on this together. She had done a line with like the zombie hands and she's done some witch hands and some different things. And she, I think maybe had mentioned that she got some green filament like for her 3D printer and was kind of asking what she should do next. And I messaged her with this idea and I was like, this would be super, super cool. And she was like, oh my gosh, that's it. And so from our brainchild has come this amazing product. <laughs> These are Creature from the Black Lagoon Claws. <laughs> How freaking cute are these the color is so vibrant and amazing and the detail i don't know like if you can see yeah all the little like suction cuppies and the the wiring in the fins and and it's super like textured like reptile skin with these fins here and something I think is really cool, a detail that she has added that was not on the uh, zombie hands is that she now has this really awesome Sinister Signs logo underneath here. But I mean, so she sent me a pair that are opposite. So you can see that the thumbs here are like, it's actually like a, a proper set of hands. So once again, you could absolutely use these to hold jewelry or, you know, just to display. But the reason I wanted a pair is because, because this is like flat, I'm gonna take some command strips under here and have them coming out of my wall above my door as kind of just a like, uh, and I think that's gonna be really stinking cool. So the exciting news is that she has sent me a second pair, not just one of these, but a pair of claws to give away to one of you. And I am so excited for someone else to have these. They are so beautiful. So what you're going to want to do to enter the giveaway is to head over to my Instagram at Midge Munster. And I'm sorry, this is an Instagram based contest. I know a lot of you have told me in the past that you don't use Instagram, but it is the easiest way for Maddie and I to co-run giveaways together. In order to be entered to win, you're going to want to be following me on Instagram, following Maddie at Sinister Signs. You're going to want to like this post on my Instagram page, and then leave me a comment there telling me what your favorite of the Universal Monsters are, whether it's Creature, Bride of Frankenstein, 
Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monster, Wolfman, the Invisible Man, whatever it is for you, let me know and then you will be entered to win the Creature Claws. And all of those instructions will be in the caption of that post on Instagram. So if you need a refresher, I will put that in the description here as well as on that post so you can walk through it step by step. You don't have to like try to remember it all right now. So that is the giveaway. Uh, thank you so, so much again, Maddie, for working with me on this and for partnering with me. Uh, Sinister Signs rocks. Please go check them out. Regardless if you want to enter the giveaway or not, please go check her out. She's so incredible. Before you run away to enter the giveaway, I do want to mention one more shop that you've heard me talk about before, but we're gonna talk about her again, and that is M and Sprout. I can't get enough of M and Sprout's products. She does the cutest designs. Uh, a couple things I have from her. I have this PJ set with this cute ghost and pumpkin and skeleton print. It's like a t-shirt and shorts pajama set that I absolutely love. And then I also have these jack-o'-lantern slippers from her. Please ignore how dirty they are. <laughs> They've got a little scary jack-o'-lantern face on them and they're super, super comfortable. Oh, I forgot to bring my slides up. I also just bought some summer slides from her that are black with an orange jack-o'-lantern face and they are so comfortable. They are my new like go-to when I need to just slide on shoes and like run outside and get the mail or I need to go run a quick errand. They are my go-to slide on shoes and I love them so much. Emmon Sprout is awesome for apparel, pajama sets. She makes lots of cool berets. Oh, I think I have a beret from her too. I do. Please hold. I have this beret from her, this little orange jack-o'-lantern beret. I love it. I'm gonna put it on. It's so cute. She's got so many cute little berets. She's got some mugs, jewelry, enamel pins. I'm actually gonna be hitting her up pretty soon. I finally ordered myself a leather jacket. I've been wanting like a lapeled leather jacket for some time and I finally ordered myself one and I want to cover the lapels in spooky pins. So I'm definitely going to be getting some from Emma and Sprout. There's another shop that I'm very excited about. I haven't shopped with them yet, but they're called Lively Ghosts and I'm very excited to shop with them. They have awesome lapel pins, like enamel pins, and they have these really beautiful, I'll put a picture here, of these like jack-o'-lantern spoons like for your coffee and I want all of them. They're so pretty. They also do really cool like collars like lapel like tie-on lapels that have like candy corns and stuff. Anyway I'm getting off topic <laughs> but uh yes Emmon Sprout is amazing. Uh definitely go check her out and honestly just go on Instagram or wherever and search like Halloween or Halloween apparel or something in the hashtags and find these small creators that are making super, super cool things. Like I said, I love a big box store as much as anybody else, but for a lot of these small creators, this is their livelihood. And like, we are the community that is going to support small Halloween creators. And if you're like me and you're gonna spend a lot of money on Halloween stuff anyway, please spend at least half of it with people who are you know, small businesses, women-owned businesses, women of color-owned businesses, person of color-owned businesses, queer businesses. It's Pride Month. Let's support queer Halloween businesses. I actually ordered a um, Halloween Pride shirt last night that I'm very, very excited about thanks to Miranda at Spooky Little Halloween. She uh, posted that on her Instagram and I believe it's called I believe it's from a company called Yas Merch or something like that. I'll link them in the description, but I'm very excited for my Halloween pride shirt. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. I am so freaking excited that it is spooky season time. Drop me a comment down below and let me know some of your favorite small businesses for Halloween year round, or just let me know what you're excited to see out this year. It is gonna be just like a week or two until we are back in full Halloween swing here and oh, my heart is just <laughs> exploding with joy. And of course, don't forget to go enter our Creature Claw giveaway with me and Sinister Signs. Follow us both over on Instagram and check out the post here. <laughs> 
The giveaway is gonna be open through Sunday, June 13th. So on June 14th, I will announce a winner on Instagram and I will drop it on the community tab here as well. So you know if you are the winner of these claws and then we will get them out to you ASAP. Oh, the other thing I wanted to share very quickly, because um, she packaged the claws with my bookmark order and the bookmarks and everything got lost for like a month in customs, I now have a whole lot of extra bookmarks, which is awesome. And I do love to read, but I don't read quite that much. But because I've been reading again, and I've been reading a lot of spooky books, I've been kind of toying with the idea of making a spooky book club. I know there are a lot of other creators that do that, but I don't know. I always just really enjoy those types of things and I would love to give it a go. And I am not a horror person, as a lot of you know. Like I love the genre, but I'm a scaredy cat. So like a lot of the books I've been reading are not quite as like, <gasps> So if that sounds like your vein of spooky reading and you'd be interested in spooky book club, let me know in the comments because I've got a few books that are like on my reading list right now that I would really love to discuss with all of you, but I don't know if my audience is uh, the book type. So <laughs> holler at me, let me know. And then if we get a book club going, maybe I can give away some of these spooky bookmarks to my book club members. Anyway, that is really it. Thank you all so much for watching today. I am so excited to do this giveaway and to be back in action. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to subscribe to the channel before you leave today. And until next time, keep it campy, kooky, glamorous, and spooky. Bye. Come out to social.